I talk about character design a lot, here on my channel and over on Twitter, and one thing I often talk about is over-designing a character. When a character has too many stripes, spots, bits and bops, I often say they are over-designed. But I'm going to be honest, I kind of want to get into over-designing characters myself. Back in the day, there was no bigger design sin than turning your character into what we called a Mary Sue. I feel like the concept of Mary Sues is a bit outdated by this point, especially from a story perspective. But what do I mean by saying a design was like a Mary Sue? Well, Mary Sues were synonymous with basically being over-designed. Two different colored eyes, a million colors in their hair or fur, extra accessories, not seen in any of the other characters, colors and patterns and a bunch of extra stuff. This was a big faux pas back in like the early 2000s. So whenever I approached character design, I always intended to keep my characters in the realm of reality. No crazy hair colors, definitely no heterochromia, no animal ears, no wings, no nothing. And while it did keep my characters more realistic and grounded, I'll be honest, it also made them all really boring this way. As the years have gone on, however, I think things have definitely changed. People don't always turn up their noses at the more extravagantly designed characters anymore. Sure, there is still a point to be made about some things being too excessive, like this character from Hell of a Boss. Her design caused quite a stir for a while there. But honestly, I want to try to start embracing maximalism more with my design choices. Last year, I had an original character animation challenge, and the second one this year is currently open for submission still. But I was looking at everyone's cool, colorful, interesting characters, and I realized that in my attempts to not make my character look like a Mary Sue, I was robbing myself of the fun of getting to go all out with a design. What's the harm in giving a character a bunch of extra bits and bops? It's your character. Have fun with it, right? I've been slowly starting to dabble with this concept of maximalization for design. Designing my stream avatars has allowed me to go all out with designing unique, eye-catching elements. And also, I started to experiment with the world of 3D animation. I even have a whole little animated short on my channel. I started making characters in Vroid Studio to start animating in Blender, and I realized the fun of designing a 3D model means that I can really just go all out with a bunch of crazy patterns, colors, everything, because it's a 3D model. I don't need to redraw the character over and over and over again if I want to animate them now, which was another reason I over simplified my characters back in the day. I used to dabble with 2D animation or drawing comics, and that meant you'd have to draw the same character a bunch of times. And the more extra bits on the character, the longer and harder it would be. So I set out with one goal in mind. Make the most maximalized character I can come up with. And while I'm at it, I'll show you how I use Vroid Studio. Vroid Studio is great because it's free and very user-friendly, and there's about 5 million tutorials you can find online, so if I explain something and you didn't get it, you can definitely find another video that'll explain it in a different way, and maybe that one will be easier for you. I didn't have a plan going into my design. The only thing I knew I wanted was I wanted to make a character that was a clown. Not only was I inspired by the vibes of Amazing Digital Circus, but also Monster Prom 4's trailer dropped recently and their new clown character is adorable. Elf ears, elf ears, elf ears, because our goal is to be as extra as possible possible, and clowns tend to already have a lot going on design-wise. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> In actuality, though, what I've done here is just mark out a rough idea of what I want to do with her design. Vroid may be user-friendly, but its in-app art tools are kind of limited. I suggest making a rough outline of what you want to do with your designs, and then go up here and export your layers. Try to make sure you keep everything on the correct layer that they should be on, so going back and editing them would be a lot easier for you. Vroid does have a decent selection of pre-made things like irises, cheek blush, etc, etc, but my goal here was to do it all myself. Fun fact, I was originally planning on selling this model after I made it, but I ended up falling in love with her and I'm keeping it. Oops. <laughs> While I'm here, I'm also going to go through the little sliders on the side to get the proportions I want for her face and head. After that, I'm bringing my exported layers into my art program, GIMP. 
I like GIMP because it's also free. <laughs> make sure you also export this thing that says guide on it because it'll make it so much easier to tell what you're drawing on with the face guide for reference. I went back and forth adding details, importing them into Vroy to see how they looked, and then going back to GIMP to fix or adjust things accordingly. It's a little hard to tell how things will stretch over the actual 3D model based solely on where it is in your 2D texture, so keeping your layers organized and making slight adjustments is going to be a necessity for this. And bam, here's her actual face. Look at that sweet heterochromia. Her eyes have little hearts in the pupils. Her eye shines is stars. Wow. <laughs> shark teeth, shark teeth, shark teeth. Okay, on to the rest of her. Let's tackle the hardest thing, in my opinion, the hair. Like I said, there's lots of presets already made, but I wanted to make my own. I'll admit, I'm still not very good at freehand drawing in the hair yet. In Vroid, adjusting the curve to your hair web thing can be more finicky than you might think. I personally get confused as to which dot moves which part of the hair, but after playing around with it a bit, it did get a lot easier. Especially once I remembered you can just straight up move the whole web around. You can turn it, change its size, and it got way easier after this. I was even able to drag everything together in a way so I could give her hair buns. One is bigger than the other and they're not evenly placed on her head. I thought that was a fun choice. <laughs> now I've seen lots of tutorials that show off how to make amazing shadows and highlights for your hair, but honestly that's not really my style. That works good when it's being used as like a VTuber model or something, but my goal is to animate with this model in Blender, and Blender has its own shading properties built into its system. That's why I think it's important to go in and change your shader colors to match the color palette for your model, because that's what it's gonna look like once it's in Blender. I did want more for her hair though. Remember, over designing is the theme here, so I added some sprinkles and a star and a heart, and then my computer started to get really hot and Vroid Studio was struggling to load, so I decided that would be fine for her hair. <laughs> tall clown, tall clown, tall clown! Her clothes are going to work just like how her face did. Get a template down. Sometimes their pre-made clothes work really good as a template because they already have the kind of sizes or shapes you're looking for. I'm gonna give her some huge clown shoes. <laughs> to draw your rough lines for your design, I suggest drawing directly directly onto the model on this left side of the screen. It's just more accurate compared to guessing where your lines will go with the right side. Once that's done, I open up GIMP again and just go to town designing her outfit. And I know my goal was maximalization, and I think I really did go all out with a lot of things. Every fingernail has a different color on it, there's a lot of rainbows, just like all over. <laughs> I added fades and buttons and stars and all kinds of small details all over. I had to keep reminding myself to try to do more because in all honesty, over designing a character is hard. <laughs> it takes a lot of time and effort and even after all of this, all of the rainbows, all of the fades, all of the bits and bops, I got them onto our clown girl and I think I still could have gone even further in terms of maximalizing her design. But also, I'm pretty dang happy with how she turned out and she is very over designed, so I think I've succeeded in my mission. And she looks absolutely adorable after I animated her. Look how freaking fun she is. Oh my God, I love her. <laughs> so what's my takeaway from this? How did intentionally over designing a character work out? Well, I now have newfound appreciation for people who do this kind of thing for every character. This was a lot and I am very happy with how she turned out, but also designing all of this took me five hours. Five hours on one character? No wonder I fell in love with her in the end. That's a lot of time to dedicate to one model. I'm also amazed at how hard it actually is to come up with designs for this. I feel like I could have added more stripes to her shirt, maybe give her body freckles or scars or something. I didn't even touch the animal ears. <laughs> there were definitely things I could have done to make her even more extra, but I'm really happy with how she turned out. Her name is Dot, by the way, short for Dorothy. I googled famous female clowns and one of them was named Dorothy, and then that made me think of Dorothy singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And now now she's Dorothy. 
Dot for short, I love her. <laughs> so what would you do with a maximalized design? If you went out of your way to try to over-design a character, what would you do? If you're an artist and you actually want to try designing a character, whether it's in Vroid Studio or not, I'd love to see what you come up with. Share it with me on Twitter or here on YouTube. Make your own video with your own over-designed character. I think it'd be a fun challenge to try and tackle. Shout out to my $10 patrons, you're all amazing. Andrew, Valhalla Knight, Chamomile, Classy Critic, Noah Perkins, Sunny Shy, Genital War Thunder, Jake, Amber, Hype Man, Isaiah, Scaring Crows, Not All That Evil, Messiah Complex, Jacob, Ben Sketchbook, The Watcher, Omega Fighter, Trash, Wild Pilot, Josh, Gino, Twisty, Juan, Bunkin Duncan, Alpha 99, Hoodie Angel, Jesper, and Hut Mutt Butt. I hope you had fun with this. Just a fun little art video. I just really wanted to do this and then I did it and now it is here. <laughs> and I love Dot. I think she's great. What do you think? Not only of my design, do you think I could have gone more? Do you think it looks good? <laughs> what would you do if you were over designing a character? I would really love to see that. I would love to see people just going ham with designing characters. So any and all thoughts and opinions, leave them in the comments below. I would really love to see them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.